Hey everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be getting an energy reading for you. I already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I would like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, looking those, booking those personal readings with me and just being here and supporting my channel. The new moon is happening, okay? So really set your intentions for the new moon. Clear out your slate and get ready for newness here, Virgo. Also, I was just about to say that. All right, happiness and well-being. And it's the sun card. I feel like uh, you will get more happiness and well-being the more you're out in nature, connecting with nature, grounding your energy, getting fresh air into your home. Even if it's just standing outside in your backyard on your front porch for a little bit, it's better than nothing. We have meeting with a stranger could be important. And then we have dark man dealing a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. And then we have a new job. Okay, so a new job could be coming towards you. It's going to lead towards happiness and well-being. Or you're playing a new role with someone. It's like you could be meeting a stranger. They could be giving you a new job or something here. What's this energy for Virgo? Sebu, Rise, Dorko, and Venus. We have the heart chakra, and then we have dreams coming true in the reverse. Giving and receiving, okay. Blossoming at the bottom. Virgo, your heart chakra could definitely need a cleanse here, or you could be needing to do stuff out of your heart chakra energy. We have dreams not coming true. There's something that will not come true or things are not coming together in the way that you want them to. But you will be given or receiving something else is what I'm getting. Okay. Or there's something that didn't happen and now they're trying to give to you. There's something that's like. I heard a catalyst. So a dream may not have came true. A dream job may, you may not have gotten a dream job, but you're going to give or get something that's better for your well-being, right? There's something like that going on in your energy. Tell me about the dreams not coming true for Virgo. Number nine in the reverse. You could be having very vivid dreams at this time. All right. What's the dreams not coming true energy for Virgo? Queen of Wands. The Four of Cups. The Ten of Wands. This Queen of Wands energy. page of coins an offer okay offer a gift something coming into your energy virgo you may have to remain independent from something miss out on an opportunity you may have missed out on an opportunity here ten of wands it may have seemed like uh stressful it may have seemed like it came with a lot of burdens doing something on your own here what was the Four of Cups? What was the missed opportunity? What was the missed opportunity? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Ace of Pentacles, the Tower card at the bottom, you could have missed out on a, a major deal here. Okay, Ace of Pentacles talks about a large sum of money, financial stability, uh, something abundant and prosperous, Virgo. You could have felt like you missed out on something huge here and could have been very burdened and stressed about it. Tell me about the, ten of, uh, the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, breakthrough. This would have been a breakthrough. This would have been like um, success for you. There was something that you missed out on that you've seen could have been prosper uh, prosperous and abundant and successful for you. 
seven of cups and the eight of cups but there was some type of illusion that made you feel stuck that made you feel victimized that made you feel restricted from getting this what's the eight of swords the eight of wands communication there could have been a mix-up in communication or about moving forward you could have had to travel for this and had to miss out on this in some type of way what's the seven of cups The tower in the reverse. I feel like you avoided a tower though. The eight of coins in the reverse and the tower in the reverse. Okay. So I feel like you avoided a tower because it wouldn't have worked out for you anyways. Something may have seemed, it's like something may have seemed like this huge deal, this huge come up, this huge blah, blah, blah opportunity here. And it was illusion, Virgo, that would have trapped you. Okay, um, or it was, <clears throat> there was multiple things that restricted you from moving forward with this. And it was supposed to do this. This was supposed to happen because you avoided a tower. I don't think this opportunity would have worked out for you. So, so like I said, some dream not coming true. Um, Six of Swords really took you to a better place here. Tell me about giving and receiving. Tell me about the energy of giving and receiving. One more shuffle. Tell me about the energy of giving and receiving here. The Queen of Wands again. Okay. The Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups, giving and receiving. Okay, so in your independence, I feel like you avoided something that felt like it would have been a great opportunity but wasn't really virgo it wouldn't have really worked out for you but you're still being given um something this happy home happy family energy things are still being taken care of here with the ten of cups and the nine of cups you're still getting satisfaction or you will this will be your energy so spirit may have taken something away but they're replacing it here tell me about the ten of cups the two of wands yeah this is future energy future plans for you future things coming in tell me about the nine of cups the nine of coins okay nine nine i feel like virgo you're getting your satisfaction you're getting your emotional stability you're getting this future energy coming into you um just by staying single by doing something on your own living off the fruits of your labor here um this is rewards so I feel like Spirit is rewarding you for staying um, single and independent. You may have missed out on an opportunity, but with the Two of Wands, that future energy is still happiness and well-being coming in for you. And this is all because of you choosing to be independent or choosing to do something, choosing logically here. Virgo. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. The strength card, yeah, this took a lot of self control. All right, it took a lot of strength to do this. Um, this wasn't an easy thing for you to do to do independently, but you did it, Virgo. Okay, five of wands at the bottom could have caused conflict with other people. Yeah, there's that good news, there's that message coming in to you. Page of wands, the emperor. The Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, that, that, that past thing that you blocked. Okay, the past thing that you were protected from or guarded from, Virgo. 
it's giving that rejection is divine protection. So if any job rejected you, you had to reject something. It was divine protection here. Um, tell me about the emperor. The six of wands. The seven of swords and the eight of wands. Wow. All right. So like I said, there was some type of emperor boss structure um, job here that may have appeared successful. Virgo with the six of wands. They may have appeared to be in the public eye as something as success, fame, notoriety here. That's why it was like a big offer for you. But with the seven of swords and the eight of wands, I feel like... <laughs> The Seven of Swords talks about deception, okay, secrets, betrayals, lies. And the Eight of Wands talks about communication or moving forward or moving quickly. So I feel like uh, whatever this public thing was would have um, betrayed you in the long run, lied to you. They were lying to get you to move forward, trying to present as if it was um, successful, Okay. This could be a job, person, place, or thing here. You could have had like an opportunity to move in with someone, move forward with someone, move forward with something here. It could have been like with a stranger, new job setting, new something setting here. And it, it was like too good to be true, Virgo. I feel like people are going to start um, handing you things. It's like... People may be giving you sugar-coated uh, advice or sugar-coated offers here. Um, things that sound good, look good, taste good, but they aren't good, right? Uh, for you in the long run or that it's a trap, Virgo. It's something here about like um, a setup here to get you to not go towards what you're really supposed to go towards. What you're really supposed to give and receive here. That's why you need to be in your heart chakra, heart space Tell me about this dark man here. Building a relationship with a dark man. Complexion or hair. Tell me about this dark man here. The five of coins. Left out in the cold. Isolation. Poverty. Tell me about the dark man. The hierophant. the ace of coins in the reverse okay so there is somebody in your energy here virgo this person is in lack in some type of way okay they could lack spiritual wisdom they could lack structure they could lack um higher commitment but it's giving like they lack institution, they lack structure, they lack spiritual wisdom in some type of way. They're depressed and they're poor. They have poor poverty. They're poor in spiritual wisdom. There's something here that is lacking about this person. And with the Ace of Coins in the reverse, it's a huge financial loss. Um, It's things not going in this person's favor. This is them losing out on the opportunity. Hmm. Huh. Tell me about the Ace of Coins in the reverse. The Five of Wands, conflict. I feel like they lost out on something because they were like, there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of fighting going on. Two of Swords, where they were fighting themselves here, trying to make a heart, uh, a, this, <coughs> excuse me, trying to make a decision. the four of swords and the eight of swords someone was like um trying to make a decision about a structure place institution um home eight of swords and now they feel victimized now they feel trapped something did not work out in somebody's favor all right so somebody's feeling very left out virgo they lack energy they feel like things aren't going their way 
because the difficult decision they made about some type of home space may have trapped them. Yeah, tower card. Who's the higher thing? The nine of coins. The temperance and the two of coins. The Hierophant could be uh, another Virgo. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy with all this earth. Temperance and the Two of Coins. I feel like this person... <clears throat> uh, this person was single and independent or it's the energy of somebody who was able to live off the fruits of their labor here for a time and now they're juggling ten of coins seven of cups in the emperor I feel like this person is uh, juggling multiple jobs multiple avenues of money trying to keep the illusion of um being a boss being in charge having this seat having this control all right so this could have been the person that was trying to get you to work at their structure their home get you to work with them in some type of way they're losing out on something here because of conflict because uh, they got trapped up caught up in something here virgo this person is now um, having to be patient to survive or live off their own here, survive on their own here. They're juggling multiple financial resources to stay in this position. This is why an opportunity, a dream may not have came true for you because if you would have put your um, energy into the mix, you would have been in lack and loss with this person. What's, what's the overall message for Virgo? What's the overall message for Virgo? The King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. The Five of Cups. Ten of Wands. Who's the King of Wands here? Who's this King of Wands energy? What's this King of Wands energy? The Knight of Wands and the High Priestess. What's the Five of Cups? The Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So there is the energy of being independent, being single here, all right, or being an entrepreneur. The King of Wands is an entrepreneur, somebody who's um, a leader in their own life, somebody who's very passionate about what they do here. The Knight of Wands talks about impulse, difficult to commit. So you didn't commit to something, Virgo. With the High Priestess, it talks about intuition or secret or download, so I feel like you were told not to commit to something, stay single from something here. Uh, with the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like you broke up from something that could have been a fight. That would have ended in a fight. That would have ended in a, a painful loss here. Ten of Wands. So spirit, the overall message is that to follow your heart space, listen to your intuition here, because there are things, people, places, and things that are going to tell you like sugarcoated lies, um, try to get you offers, offers that seem too good to be true, Virgo, try to give to you in some type of way to get you off a path or to get you to not give and receive to something else here. But spirit is telling you that they could have intuitively told you to miss out on something, intuitively told you not to do something here, and it may cause burdens. 
but I feel like it was ultimately better for you than to end up betrayed in a fight, fighting with somebody and having to take losses. So kind of the same message. The King of Cups and the Two of Wands. King of Wands. Seven of Cups and the Hanged Dragon. I feel like you had to use head over heart energy here to stay independent and not fall for the illusion, Virgo, to see something clearly. So continue to do that world card and that will bring a completion. Eight of Wands. The higher fence and the king of coins. Okay, so it's the energy of um, learning a lesson here. With the eight of wands is moving forward, the higher fence talks about another structure here. And then the King of Pentacles talks about um, that boss loyal energy here, abundance, prosperity. So I feel like Spirit was trying to teach you a lesson and like not everything, not everything that shines is gold, Virgo, right? Not every structure that promises abundance, prosperity in a boss position will give you that. I feel like Virgo, you may... You may have been enlightened to do something and then it moved you forward into a structure where you could be a boss, right? It's it's the energy of like the real promised land, right? Instead of like a pipe dream, a real promised land. All right, so Virgo, watch out for this. I feel like there's a lot of things coming towards you to try to... I just heard get in the way of what I'm feeling getting in my way i'm trying to get in uh, get in the way of actually receiving what god has planned for you okay because you're going to end up in a situation with a structure with a new job with something that actually gives you prosperity and abundance in the end instead of uh meeting up with a stranger or doing something strange that may sound strange like why are you giving to me why are you offering so much if this comes with this many perks, why are you like hiring this quickly? Why is there nobody working here? It's the energy of not falling for something here, Virgo. So watch out. Um, use your discernment and always come from the heart chakra. This is what I got here for the Virgos. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to your channel to see what's coming up next with the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.